Hello pre-calculus students. Welcome to the video on uh, compounding interest continuously or infinitely many times. Okay. I left the last video on sort of a cliffhanger and this video here will address some of the issues. We were working on a problem where we're supposed to compound uh, money here is number four continuously an infinite number of times and we have this setup here where n is the number of times we're compounding and this is we're supposed to do this an infinite number of times um, we, we couldn't quite substitute n or infinity in for n so we are going to tackle this problem a slightly different way so I'm gonna start here and this is where uh, algebra 2 ends and pre-calculus truly takes over so we know that the amount that we're, we're given is p times 1 plus r over n to the nt. Okay? And we also know, that note, uh, the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the n is equal to e is equal to e. So somehow, and you can see here, this exp this this expression here looks like e, right? I mean, it, it it seems almost the same. Instead of one here, you have r, and instead of n up here, you have nt. Instead of n up here, you have nt. Okay, but we can't just simply plug stuff in and just assume that it, that it's right because many times it will in fact be wrong so we need to somehow rigorously develop this concept so I'm gonna say that for continuous compounding continuously compounded okay, means for us to take the limit as n approaches infinity of P times 1 plus r over n to the nt. Okay. And the goal here is to somehow extract r from this mess so that we could get, we could replace it with 1. Okay. So we want to extract r so that we get 1 over n in here. And once we replace this expression with 1 over n, we're basically done. We'll have e in there. But the technique for doing that isn't quite straightforward. Um, but the good news is it isn't quite difficult either. So we're going to introduce a new variable. Okay, introduce a new variable, m. Okay. And we're going to say that m is equal to n over r. Okay. And if you're kind of taken back by this idea, I mean, of introducing new variables. We've done this before. Whenever we have a problem that looks like a quadratic but isn't quite a quadratic, we made that substitution before. We've done this with, you know, like e to the x plus e to the negative x, and we've done things like w equals e to the x. So we've created, you know, um, ideas like this before. So that's all we're doing here. Okay. And since m equals r, I can say some other things too. I can say that uh, I can take the reciprocal of both sides, 1 over m equals r over n. Okay. Notice how this is very useful here. And we can also say that the limit, so we can say that as n approaches infinity, m also approaches infinity. Okay. Since r is a constant as n gets bigger we know that m will get bigger too okay so these are some some facts here that come from uh that come from the new variable and then we can say also one more thing m r is equal to n okay so this is the definition of m these are facts these are facts that are derived from the definition. So we're allowed to make up the definition, and then we can take the definition and just rework it algebraically to, to get some of the facts from the definition. Okay? And now we're going to apply these ideas to this expression here. 
So we can rewrite the limit using m instead of n. Okay, take the limit that we got and just rewrite it. So now instead of the limit as n approaches infinity, but note that as n approaches infinity, m also approaches infinity. So we can rewrite the limit in that way of p of 1 plus and here what we have is instead of r over n we have 1 over m raised to the nt but instead of n we can say m r and then the t is still there Okay. And notice here that we've accomplished what we set out to do. We extracted R and we get 1 over a variable in here. The variable isn't the same one as this, but it behaves just like it. M behaves just like N because as one of them gets big, the other also gets big. So now if we look at this part, if we look at that part, that is in fact equal to e. Okay, the limit as, and, and this information too, the limit as a variable approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over that variable raised to the variable is in fact equal to e. So that gives us p, everything in the green box here turns into e, okay, raised to the rt or your the famous PERT uh, equation. So this is where PERT comes from and this is the uh, formula for continuous compounding. Okay. So rather than do what we suggested before by just substituting an infinity for n, we don't need that to do that anymore. We have a different approach here where infinity has been removed in some sense and infinity has been captured in this beautiful number e and we have a very short and catchy uh, equation to, to use. So now let's get back and solve that problem. So we can't substitute infinity for n but we can use p. So uh, use pert. Okay. So the amount that we have after 15 years is equal to the initial amount 2300 times e to the r which is 0 0.25 percent for 15 years. Okay. 2300 e to the rt or 0 0.025 times 15 and we get 3346.4 point four eight dollars and that is our uh, final answer for this problem and just so that you see this sort of works we could we could try to estimate it using infinity right so if we use it the other way we could have done 2300 times 1 plus point zero two five divided by, and let's pick some gigantic numbers, so maybe a million raised to the million or 15 million here. See, And you see that we get almost the same answer, um, although the answer that we had up here is more correct. Um, this is an, an approximation of it. The answer up here, you know, you can see here that it's only off by a few pennies, but if you had a larger amount, then that, that may add up to something useful. And uh, later on, we'll see where we, if we try to solve for R or for N, um, solving these equations is actually more difficult than calculating this. And so PERT um, is a definitely use, more useful tool. So I'll end this video here. As always, ask your teacher if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.